Diamond Spice, and welcome back to the Retro Wayback Machine presentation of Zargon Episode 1 Beyond Reality. This is Saving Spice, and when we last left our intrepid hero, Malvinius Haversham, he was just beginning his journey. I had gotten him through his first couple of levels. So, why don't I show you what those power objects that were referenced in the opening, or in the uh, inventory screen refer to. If you see here, see how there's power objects? show you what that is. By the way, I apologize for any sound issues. For whatever reason, this tends to... the sound will glitch on me here and there, and I'm having some problems trying to get it to sound correctly. So, we'll see how this goes. In order to finish this game, you must find the three power objects. It is believed that the saver of King Arkul is nearby. Okay, I don't know who King Arkul is, but alright. Malvinius discovers a robot development plant. Oh, this is my other favorite track. This one gives me chills. I love this song. Get that out of the way. Ah. Ah, wrong buttons. Wrong buttons for the lose. Okay. Oh, this song is amazing. Love it, love it, love it. Ah, these things go away. Die. I hate those. Hate the eyeballs. This is a one-way door and cannot be entered. You'll find the entry point later. Okay, so down. down. One cool thing with Zargon is you have these little secret cubby holes. Like right there, you get emeralds. Best part of the song. Oh, I hate these things too. I'm just thankful they're not one-hit kills. I would be in big trouble. <laughs> oh, this game's amazing. Oh, you jerk. I don't need to read that. It's basically ordering information for when this game was still um, shareware slash commercialware. You jerks. Fireballs! Okay, these are basically guaranteed one hit kill for just about anything in your path. Like that. Hey. Ah. Hate the spikes. They can go away. There are two ways to get off of the moving platform. One, jump off. Two, hold the down arrow key, then press the control or alt key. Jump key. Okay. Oh, another laser bolt. Extra laser bolt. Woot! That makes it so easy. It's a shame I don't get more of those. Alright, so I'm gonna go with this one and see where I go to. Ah, yeah. oh, the secret area. Goody room! Extra points. All sorts of good stuff. Extra, extra of everything. I am back in business. So, is there anything else up there? Nope. Whee! Okay. Gate key. I'll show you where that goes in a second. Now, if I try to use the exit here, unfortunately, it's just going to tell me I can't leave without the power object. I love how he stands there. He puts his hands on his hips like, wait, what are you waiting for? Move me. So, we're gonna go this way. I think. I hope this is the way I'm supposed to go. Eee, nope. Sorry. I get to retrace all of that walking because I was a dummy. Ah! That's why I'm glad these are not a one-hit kill. Because I'm mildly inept sometimes. Yay. Whee. Alright, we're gonna try this again. I'm trying to remember how I get down to get that. Because it's right down where the you can see the eyeballs kind of floating. I've gotta remember how to get down there. Wait, 
Was it that door? Yep. Ah, I'm in the doorway. Go away. These things are such a pain. They shoot at you, and they can also damage you if they touch you. So you can sometimes get a double whammy if they get too close. Jerks. There it is. You now have the saber of King Arkul. And a very cool sound effect for picking it up. I think the only thing I don't like about Zargon, and maybe this is just because modern games have spoiled me, is you don't know who some of these characters are. Like, who is King Arkul? Who is Zargon, aside from being the bad guy? Who is any of it? Who are any of these characters, and why should you care? Returning to the safety of the map level, I'm gonna go ahead and save. And now we're going to go to a very, very cool level with another very, very cool song. Malvinius enters the forest of enchanted trees. Oh, yes, these are the enchanted trees. This is another slightly infuriating level. There's a secret area hidden on this level. I don't know if I have ever actually found this secret area. I'm not gonna try- I'm gonna try not to waste too much time looking for it because it's a pain in the neck. But we will see. Oh, these guys. It's just easier rather than trying to hop and shoot. far as I can go that way. So the cool thing with these is that these tree branches you can actually jump on. If you can jump just right. Like that. There's the other gate key. I'll show you the gate keys probably in the next episode. But they are very, very useful. But yeah, I mean, who... Anyways, I was saying before, who is King Arkul? What are some of these things that they're referring to? I mean, is it... Is it... Was it a former ruler of the area before Zargon took over, or what? I just, it makes no sense to me. Oh well. Now I know I can get up there. Come on. Sigh. These little ones are not anything I can stand on. If you get too close to the, the trunk, you just go right back to the bottom. Sigh. Alright. Oh wait. There we go. All that time spent to get two 25 point baseballs. Priorities, man. Priorities. Yes. Soundtrack is probably the best part of this game. And it, this, I believe, was a MIDI soundtrack. It's not anything stereo or anything orchestral. This is just MIDI. Glycerin. Yep. If you're not careful, that's basically a one-hit kill right there. There we go. Alright. Hit that. That reveals the steps, and up we go. Don't touch the spikes. Those are a one-hit kill. I found that out the hard way way too many times, can you tell? Vines, vines. Whee! Ah, there is an invincibility shield. It's, I believe, 30 seconds of invincibility. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's some little dots on the screen that I'm going to explore in just a second. 
Oh, that's right. I gotta get those boots first. Ah! I can't jump. Oh, no. Yeah, I can't jump high enough, but you will get boots in order to allow you to jump up there. <laughs> I love the look. <laughs> I can't jump high enough for that just yet. But there is a way that I can do so. Okay, water is another one-hit kill, with one exception. See the submersible? You've entered the submersible pod SUP. And I hate these fish. Go away. Stupid fish. Those fish take two hits to kill, and they are such a colossal pain. Oh, there's a heart right there. I have enough emeralds that I could probably buy more health. And if I desperately need to, I will. Oh, you're back. Another of you guys. Oh, those things. I hate those. For that reason. Oh. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and buy a couple units of health. There. I feel better now. I don't have to worry about that. There, was another one. Those little fish can also be shot, but it's kind of a waste of a bullet. And frankly- Ah! No! Damn it. Oh, that was embarrassing. Anyway. As I was saying, the little fish tend to be kind of a waste of a bullet. If you hit them certain ways, they'll just die. So I was like, meh. Anyway, I got the, the I believe, Z-Box sneakers, so they, they'll let me jump higher. Let me in, let me in. There we go, thank you. Alright, fishy. You can die, thank you. Now, the only way that you can get out of the submersible is through here. You are magically transformed into a heap. I never was anything else. I was just in a submersible. Notice my feet are glowing. Or I guess Malvinius's feet are glowing. So now, observe. Whee! Ah, missed the last one. Damn it. There we go. Those little dots are actually hidden platforms. Yay! Yay, hidden platforms! Ah! There we go. Emeralds, emeralds. Safety of the map level. Okay, so I think that's a good spot to stop this episode. I will come back in the next episode, show you what those gate keys are doing, and get our friend Malvinius here into even more trouble. So until then, thank you guys so very much for joining me, and as always, don't ever give up on something that you love. Until next time! I just see you walk in and you're like, no, I'm walking out. <laughs> That's all you need.